Hey everybody, I'm Kyle. I'm Ian. I'm Rachel. Uh, last week's video was Ghost Finders, and these are the comments. From the Keyblader133, this was perfect, didn't expect that punchline at all. I would blame it on having only five hours of sleep, but I never see these sorts of things coming anyways. Is five hours a small number? I actually Imagine came up with the punchline of the video first, <clears throat> and then wrote the rest of the video off of I it. I feel that's how that has to work. Um, most of the time. Like, you don't, like, you have to be exceptionally lucky to have, like, something that works all the way through and you go, oh, wait. Yeah. Actually, you know what that, did that did happen in? Spoilers for movie about to name. Fight Club. So that spoiler was useful. <laughs> From D.K. Larations. Possibly declarations. But we know it's supposed to be D.K. Larations. Fun to see new talent on the channel. Yeah. Yeah! Good. Matt locked back again. That was, yeah. That's, he's always fun. Do you believe that a young man was murdered by the ghost of a Native American boy? Or, the, what the f <laughs> <laughs> I was imagining this character being kind of awkward, and I was like, oh, we should just feature Matt Lock the whole time. <laughs> you may notice that he has the superpower of being able to be in shot with the person he's having a conversation with. Yeah, we don't do that usually. No. You, you might... want to know why? We don't memorize our lines. No. He did. That's not fair. Yeah, if you go back and look at all of our videos, like, every every time the camera cuts away, we stopped acting. The reason we're able to do them so fast is we show up, and I point the camera at one person, and I'm like, okay, this is your next line, and then they say that line, and we go through all of them. And since I have the whole thing in my head, I know how it needs to be said to match the other lines, and then we edit them all together. It started off as a joke, like, you know, kind of ironic the first couple of times, but now we honestly do consider something like, Two sentences and maybe like an introductory word, a monologue. Yeah. For intent, for purposes of how difficult it is to film. That's just the white lightning method. In the future, we'll try to uh, uh, maybe <laughs> extend. <laughs> it just sounds like Blitzkrieg. What does? Sorry. The, the white, white lightning, lightning method. method. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a lot of internet people, that's the name that I picked out in high school, and then we got popular. <laughs> Mine so was got stuck. Kmek, K M E K. And then, I never knew that one. And then, like, I, when I went to go sign up for my next site after Neopets, <laughs> somebody had already been a Kmek, so I had to make something up. So I just got knighted as a Snifty instead. That's where Sir Snifty came from? Yeah. I wish I could redo all my stupid usernames that I made up I for, love like, all yours, seconds. actually. Really? Are you, they're yeah. all stupid. No, they're great. What are some? Sure. I have Top Hat Ducky. That's great! <laughs> That's my Gmail. And I still give it to, like, uh, It's great like listening to her on the phone. Penny. She's like, hi, yeah, no, okay, so it's T-O-P, yes, Top Hat, and then Duck, yes, like the duck. Yep. <laughs> yes, I will hold beyond hold. I mean, if we came across that in one of these videos, we would love it, so. Also, what was it? What was your, um, uh, your Steam name? Oh, it's... Uh, Thunder uh, Turnip. Oh yeah, I still have you on my list. I do, I, and I have <laughs> I have other ones that are similar. I have Lightning Radish. Um, I have my Pinterest, which I thought should have a more gentle term than my gaming name is Lavender Murmurs. <laughs> you see, like like um. fulmination beats for like heavy metal beat band. I've had um. I've had three usernames over the years. My first one was Quubby Q U B B I E, which is still technically our channel name if you yeah. go and type that in like as the address. Um, and that came from a thing that I'm still really hoping to introduce to the internet at some point. But, uh, after that I switched it to, it was IMQ, which I came up with while trying out my new tablet. I just scribbled random letters and looked up and it said IMQ, and I was like, that's funny. <laughs> so I just started using that as my username. And then, um, after a while, I switched it to The Count of Keys, which is my current one in games and stuff. I just finished reading The Count of Monte Cristo, oh. and I was super into Kingdom hey, Hearts. We're both Oh, that's so nice. So I combined. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. We have Count of Keys and Sir Snifty. Your random fact of the day that's not relevant except to this. You are a count if you rule a county, which is a border segment. You, if you own a mark or a march, you are a marquee. Actually, the thing that I really like about that title is if you look it up on Wikipedia, even they're not totally sure what it means. That's right. Everything I just said is true. Sometimes once, and then people said, that's good enough, but most of the time it's just like, It is the eh. vaguest title of nobility you could possibly have. It Count? means basically nothing, yeah. It just it's, means you're special somehow. Like, really, all it, you could just like, you have to call it a county then. That's, you're the only, yeah. it's like, if you're a baron, you have a barony. If you're a duke, you have a duchy. D d not dukey. Ducky? You don't have a dukey. Ducky, how did we get onto this? What was the comment? 
fun to see new talent on the channel. That was the longest <laughs> unrelated tangent we've ever been on in one of these videos before. Oh. New record! Matt Locke, you're cool, be in more videos. From Adam H. My god, he was killed and murdered by the rake. What a horrible death. It makes sense, though, because a rake is a dishonorable scoundrel of a guy. It is. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. That rake. It's kind of yeah. like that. It's like when during the time of, like, traveling sideshow circuses and where everything's terrible. I really hate the 19th century, actually. It's a terrifying, like, it the, Jack, the, the term rake actually goes back to the 18th century. There's a very It was fine then. It's only when you start doing post-mortem photography that everything goes bad. This yeah, video okay. turned out really, really well, partially because of the people I had in it, actually. It was, again, I started with the punchline, and then I needed the guy to be, you know, being a ghost hunter. So I looked up ghost hunter shows on YouTube, and I found Ghost Adventures, which is one of the big ones right now, I guess. They just really didn't put any and effort into that title, no, did they? No. Uh, I named ours Ghost Finders. It's really not any better than Ghost Finders. Ghost Finders is way better than Ghost... Like, <laughs> if I'm watching a show about Ghost Adventures, you know what I want to see? Ghosts having adventures. <laughs> but I, um, I, I watched through that one, and by the way, a lot of the dialogue in the video... I didn't rewrite. It's actually just things they said <laughs> yeah, in the it's show. Yeah, it's super great. But it turned out Matt was a huge fan of that show. Like, he watches it all the time. And then JP's super into ghost stuff, too. So I got, like, the perfect people for it. And so everything Matt does in there is making fun of those people, including when he just repeats the same words over and over, because they just do that all the time, apparently. And then there's one when he's talking to a J when he's interviewing JP. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, he's doing this weird thing with his arms the whole time. Yeah. And apparently that the guy's just, like, super obsessed with making his muscles as prominent as possible <laughs> in the show. So that's what he's doing. Uh, so yeah, it was great. There's all these little subtle things he does. That's really funny. It's hilarious when guys do that. They're like, <laughs> water fountain is over there. From Anthony Hingston. Is it possible that the same boy who was horribly murdered by the angry spirit of the Native American rake is the same person making the documentary? It's not a question, uh, by the way. Uh -huh. That was actually kind of the implication. I don't know if that, I, that probably, I mean, there wasn't really any reason that would have been super clear, but yeah, that was, that was, that was what I was going for. Oh yeah, he for. got, he, he was investigating his own rank murder? Yeah. Yeah. That's why, was, yeah. that's why he had the headache, because he... Is that what that was for? Oh! His head uh, in the rake and died. See, I, I thought that's, no, uh, yeah. subtle, subtle, foreshadowing, hash, <laughs> what is that? Shadow. It worked uh, really well, though, just the whole thing, like, when you go back and listen to, like, uh, JP's, all of JP's lines are referencing him being dead, like, the... I'm pretty sure every house you go to is haunted, or the is it a denial thing? Like it's it was, he delivered them really well, so it, it worked out because it sounds like it's being applied to each different scenario depending on when you watch it. I really like the implication that somebody who is dumb enough to step on a rake so badly that they killed themselves would be the kind of person who would do this. Master necrosis. Hi, Hi master necrosis. Hey, I've heard from him in a while. On here, he I think he comments a lot. So I just this is the first time I've we've gotten his comment on one of these videos in a while. Good to see JP and more things. What's it like working with him anyways? Since I remember a while back, you guys all had conflicting schedules and couldn't meet up for things until you had the channel reboot. He's good. <laughs> um, he's got, uh, he was actually involved a lot even before the channel reboot. It's just, it was in the guards themselves. He's good at acting, good at being goofy, has a very punchable face. I was about to say, it seems that every time every time I work with him, I punch him in the face. Not because... That's, he just makes me punch him in the Actually, Kyle makes me punch him in the face. Not that his face looks like it needs to be punched, it just gets punched anyway. Which is sad, because his face is like very like well-constructed. No, no, he actually has the best face of any of us, probably. <laughs> but you guys are it's like... Envy! That's why I punch faces! <laughs> I, it's a breakthrough for me! Which reminds me, I never actually showed that clip of him being legitimately punched in the face during the Daredevil video, so here's that. Oh! Oh god, are you okay? That one hurt my knuckle. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that was brutal! Okay, I How wanna point could out. you? I wanna point out. I had my back to the wall. There's literally, I can only, like, I have two options. I can either do like this, and probably maybe if he's like too close, punch him, or I can start doing this. And that's just not actually a punch. I mean, the main problem is that neither of you could see, because you had no glasses, and he was blindfolded. And it was dark. And it was dark. It was nighttime. And we both suck at fighting, both real and fake. I, honestly, I'm surprised you only hit each other once each. Yeah. He also managed to, like, brain me in the back of the leg with his forehead in a way that, like, <laughs> sprained my tendon for, like, three days. I don't Did know you say what. brain you? Yeah, with this, see, brain with the forehead. This yeah, is right. Ian's description. Really, JP got hit in the face twice is what happened.
No, he actually came out of that one just fine. I was actually like, I could, I was like walking at a tilt because my leg was less functional. He hit me so hard in the leg with his face. <laughs> I'm really impressed because he was beautiful face. He was doing like a ducking thing and his beautiful chiseled chin just like as sort of shh or something. I think that sentence brought it into a weird place. I feel like <laughs> it was we're fine up until that. Odd parents vibe from it now. <laughs> from JT Gop Seven. So does this mean the History Channel is a channel run by ghosts? If it also means that it's run by aliens and Sasquatch at the same time. Mm. Oh, that's where Sasquatch comes from. That'd be a good idea, right? Because if you were trying to send out misinformation about your the species in, that's in hiding, then I, you'd, you'd go to the channel that talks about them all the time. I mean, but wouldn't you want to go to one that has, like, credibility? Or, I don't... Maybe well, it did when it started. Mm -hmm. Look what you've done to the History Channel, Sasquatch. Stop fixating on the historicity of Jesus. From the pop Tartster. Ooh. Fallout 3, or Fallout New Vegas. It's very timely. Also Hobbits. I believe he's answering the question about what we should make videos about, just to give context I to that. I prefer to believe <laughs> that it's a demand of some kind. <laughs> I demand Either Hobbits. Fallout or Hobbits. Who's the oh, most hobbity of our... I forgot you weren't here when we read that. Me and uh, Ethan I saw Ralph. it, yeah, yeah. He, somebody commented that we could all play hobbits really well, and I was really disappointed at how correct they were. I get that a lot, actually, just in my day-to-day -day life. But Ethan is a truly remarkably hobbity person. Oh, you're right. In the best way. Oh, I, don't, I don't mean that as an insult in any way. Like, w one thing, um, the, one of my favorite thing about The Hobbit, like the movie The mm -hmm. Hobbit, was how awesome Bilbo looked by the end of it. I'm yeah. not even kidding. Like, that coat was freaking amazing. I loved his coat they had by the end. I don't know. For some reason, Martin Freeman in that outfit looks way more, like, cool action hero version of a Hobbit than, like, well, Elijah you know Wood ever did. really cathartic about it, though? Because he gets the payoff that Arthur Dent never did. <laughs> because yeah. it was a great thing. Because, I mean, he played Arthur Dent in the Hitchhiker's Guide movie. But I brought it to my mind. Like, you know what? They're actually, like, totally the same character, just taking yeah, in completely different directions. One puts a fish in his ear, and the other gets a magic ring, and which one's from which story? You can't even tell from the starter. <laughs> anyway. Ethan's a hobbit. <laughs> he may be a halfling in real life, but he's a holing in our hearts. There are a few... <laughs> uh... Leave us comments and questions about videos or about anything you want to know about a process or anything, and we will answer them next time. Uh, see you all next Friday.